Hello and welcome back to Chips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. I have an exciting announcement for you today. In addition to being able to download for free my popular keyboard shortcuts for Excel as a PDF document, I also make available for you for free a 50-minute recorded video lesson where I work you through how and when to use the most popular Excel shortcuts. Now this is a file, it's a recording that you can choose to download to your computer or you can view it online. It is free but I work with WebEx and in order to be able to download or view this 50 minute recording you must make a simple little registration with WebEx. First name last name, email, that's it. Then you'll be taken over to this page. One more exciting announcement is that you will also be able to download the actual Excel workbooks, the PowerPoint presentations, and the PDFs that I used during this lesson. I've just started to store my documents to make them available to the public on Windows Live. Now, Windows Live, just as I offer this video on WebEx, does require that you have an account. The account is free. First name, last name, email. Once you have that account, when you follow the link, if you're not registered, you'll be asked to either supply your account number or your account name, which is usually your email and a password, or create one then you'll be able to come out here into my shared documents and be able to view or download these documents. So let's come back here and let me show you how all this works. So I have made available for the past few months my popular keyboard shortcuts for Excel, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a recording where I actually worked you through and I actually showed you how these keyboard shortcuts work. So as you see, I have created them in categories and throughout the 50 minutes, I show you how you can use them and when to use them. I've tried to make the keyboard shortcuts as uh, as, as appealing as, as possible. I've tried to eliminate some that I must admit are a little arcane. Uh, and there are a couple that I find that many people are not familiar with. So for example here what I can do is I can use the Alt Tab key, hold down the Alt key while I tap on the Tab key and I can cycle through all of the open documents, all of the open uh, programs that I have. So one of the files that you'll be able to download to support this lesson is a PDF of, of, of a document that I created of the PowerPoint. So it's a nice way to be able to see those keyboard shortcuts in a slightly different manner. So here you can see on a nicely formatted page the keyboard shortcuts that fit exactly the topic that I'm talking about. And also on that PDF you'll be able to see a hyperlink where you will go to find those documents that I have on my SkyDrive on Windows Live. I use Alt Tab. Actually what I'm going to do is if you're using Windows Vista or higher if you press the Start key, the Window key, and then tap on the Tab key now you get this nice uh, little uh, representation of how you can cycle back and forth between different applications. Another keyboard shortcut that I find that many people do not use is that they can use the Control Escape key. So when you use Control Escape, what it will do, it will open up the Start window. So Control Escape will open up that Start menu. Press the Escape key and you're back to your normal. You can also use um, Alt Escape. Alt Escape is similar to Alt Tab except instead of cycling you through the open programs what it will do when you use Alt and tap on Escape it actually opens up a document. So you see it doesn't cycle you through it actually takes you to the different uh, open programs that you have on your keyboard. So you're able to see how this all works. Now I'm going to come back over here onto uh, Windows uh, I'm going to Internet Explorer and I'm going to make 
this is an attachment to the um, the written material that supports this lesson and this is a dashboard for how you can download the files that will take you out to Windows Live it will give you an opportunity to directly download the PDFs of the keyboard chart or that PDF of the PowerPoint version of the Excel keyboard shortcuts and it will also give you the opportunity to return to the WebEx page so when you click on the links it will take you back to the particular session now if you go to the website that I have which is http colon backslash backslash the company rocks dot webex dot com this is the navigation page if you want to see the recorded sessions that I have available you click here let me maximize this so this is the lesson that I just uploaded as you can see I'm not charging for these lessons putting the lessons out on Webex gives me the opportunity to go into detail to have a longer uh, length to have more supporting materials available I will be creating advanced lessons on macros on pivot tables where I will charge a modest fee but as I get going I'm going to offer my initial lessons for free and over here you see the size of it 27.4 megabits uh, it will take 50 minutes and then you can download it you will have to be registering registered and again it's very very simple first name last name email and when you click over here you're taken to the information page if I come in and I want to view it or download it I could click there or go back to see what else I have available you'll notice over here that I have an introduction to pivot tables in Excel 2003 the same lesson introduction to pivot tables for Excel 2007 likewise I have videos for how to create uh, labels when you're doing a mail merge in both Ex uh, office and word 2003 and office uh, word and Excel in version 2007 so I'm really excited about being able to offer uh, you know expand the scope of my offerings that I have you know one keyboard shortcut that that many people don't use if, if you're using Excel 2007 2010 and if you want to minimize the ribbon control F1 so control function 1 in Excel 2007 Excel 2010 will minimize the ribbon if you need access to the menus and the commands you just click when you need them when you click away from the cell that you're working on then it's minimized this is a toggle so if I do control function 1 a second time then I have the ribbon restored now control function one is the, really the only keyboard shortcut that I have found so far that operates differently in Excel 2003 as opposed to or in contrast to Excel 2007 2010 control function one in Excel 3 and earlier will open up the task panes over on the right side of your menu so again I go through and this is what I do I just work you through to show you how and when to use the keyboard shortcuts I've tried to make this interesting I've tried to make it engaging I'll go back and forth and open up a PowerPoint just to again give you a little bit of visual variety and if you download either the PowerPoint or the PDF of the PowerPoint then you will have hyperlinks over here to be able to take you directly to that shared drive I have the sky drive that I have out on Windows Live so give it a chance take a look at it I'm also anxious or happy to hear from you when you have suggestions when you have comments when you have questions just drop me an email Danny at the company and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll look for you in the next lesson